area of rectangle with five different strategies. The area. The area is the amount of space inside a flat shape. As you see, like this rectangle. Here, all of this space is called area. So, it's inside a flat shape. And the number of square units inside a polygon. So, if you counted this square unit, it will be the area. For example, if you have a room, you want to know how much flooring do we need in this room. So, you have to find the area. Now, let's learn how to get the area. You have five strategies. The first one, counting strategies. So, you will count how many tiles in your room, so you will find the area. It's so easy. Let's see. Find the area using counting strategy. It's the first strategy, as we said. Let's count. Can you count with me? Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, the area is six squares units. Don't forget, squares units. It's not just six, it's six squares units. The second strategy. Here we go. The repeated addition. You remember the repeated addition? Here, if you have a rectangle, you can make a repeated addition for adding rows or adding columns. Let's see. Find the area using the repeated addition strategy. It is the second strategy. Here, we will use adding rows. Here we have three rows. Each row contains four squares. Let's see. So you will add four plus four plus four. Okay, let's add. Here you will write four plus four plus four. I know four plus four equal eight plus four equal twelve. So it's not just a twelve, it's a twelve square units. Find the area using the repeated addition again. Here we use adding columns. In the first one you add rows. Now you have to add columns. Let's add them. Here we have how many columns? Let's count. We have one, two, three, four columns. Each column contains three squares. So you will add three plus three plus three plus three. Let's add them. I know three plus three equals six. And three plus three equals six. So six plus six will be equal twelve. It's not just a twelve again. You will set it's a twelve square units. Now, the summary of the second strategy. The repeated addition strategy, you have to count or add rows or add columns, and both of them will give you the same result. Here, the same result is 12 square units. Now, let's go to the third strategy. What is the third strategy? Let's see. It's multiplying row, multiply columns, or row by column. Let's see. Here we have how many rows? We have three rows. And how many columns? We have four columns. So you will multiply three by four. Let's multiply. Do you know three by four? Yes, we studied the multiplication. So three by four equal 12. Not just a 12, it's a 12 square units. Now, let's go to the fourth strategy. Here, the fourth strategy, multiply length by width. Here, you have a rectangle with no squares inside it. So, you are not going to count. You can't count because you didn't have squares to count. And you can't multiply row by column because you didn't have rows or columns. Here, you will just have this. This measurement in centimeter, in meter, any measuring units or any measuring lens. Here you have 4 centimeter and 5 centimeters, so you have to multiply 
lens by width so the area will be 4 by 5 it's so easy it will be 20 20 centimeters square again not just a centimeter we said the area in square units so it will be centimeter square now let's start the fifth strategy it called the distributive property let's see oh what is this it's a big rectangle now do you want to count this big rectangle oh it's a lot of squares i didn't want to count them okay do you want to multiply it here you have six by seven if you can't multiply six by seven because it's a big number so what should you do so you have to break it let's break we break this rectangle two into two smaller rectangles now let's multiply here you have six rows and how many columns in the first rectangle you have four columns and in the second rectangle you have three columns so you multiply the first rectangle four by six equal 24 and the second rectangle you will multiply three by six equal 18 then you will add let's add them 24 plus 18 equal 42 square units now you can find the area of the rectangle with five different strategies let's make the summary of this video the first strategy counting strategy you can count one two three four five six seven eight so it's eight square units the second strategy repeated addition you can add rows or columns here if you add rows you have two rows each row contains four squares so it will be four plus four equal eight square units the third strategy is multiply row and columns it will be two rows by four columns it will give you four by two equal eight square units the fourth strategy multiplying length by width here you didn't have squares inside the rectangles so you will multiply this measure this measuring length here you have two centimeter by four centimeter equal eight centimeters square the last strategy or the fifth strategy the distributive property here if you can't multiply this big number so you will break it into two parts the first one two rows by two columns it will give you four plus two by two equal four four plus four equal eight square units don't forget use whatever you wanted to find the area and this was our lesson thank you